With eight top flight men absent for the start of the summer tour, eight second tier men took their places, among them Ukrainian Shishi. It's his first time on tour as a salaried wrestler and a precious learning experience. On the only Tokyo leg this time, August the 2nd in Tachikawa, did he stand out yet more than usual in a hugely eventful day. He began by working out with stablemate Ikazuchido, who's still in tier 5 but now tantalizingly close to his first top knot. Japan's age of adulthood dropped last year from 20 to 18. So too, I presume, has Sumo's minimum age for touring. Hence, Ikazuchido can join. But when Shishi chest lent to someone else, he was pulled up by Mitake Umi. First with loud words from ringside, and then with a full-on lecture. It seems he should have chest lent on the southeast northwest diagonal. That route only changes if the pusher fails to complete the first set. Now, who was best placed to vividly impart this to Shishi by ensuring he failed his first set? <laughs> yes, charging boot camp instructor himself, Takayasu. But Shishi has off-the-scale guts, as you see, and got through a full five minutes. In practice bouts with his second tier pals, did he showcase how much he's improved? Exciting indeed for a tour session. I asked Kainowaka this time last week what he thought of Shishi's ascent. Before his legs were all over the place, but they're really moving well now, said the 28-year ring veteran. Shishi then had the trauma of watching this from the closest possible quarters.
Chitanawaka tried an impossible turn just after landing his foot, and far too much was asked of his knee. He missed the rest of the day. Shishi was not at fault, of course, but he might decrease the risks to himself by knowing when to hold back in general. The nicer part of the day remained. Meeting increased demand for autographs. and a leisurely exhibition bout. <laughs> this is a man who is well on the up. I'm amazed at how far he's come.